Hi everyone, it's Nicole and I'm here with a scrap and chat. This one is going to be sort of a little different one because um, I don't know if you've seen, but yesterday I uploaded all the books I read in January and I did all the books in my reading planner. Now, I don't know if I also want to do it in my regular scrapbook album and I don't know if I want to do it a 12 by 12 with project life cards or if I want to do it scrapbooking stop so for the first month I'm going to do all three I figured that way it'll give you guys some different options I'll see what I, I know I'm going to keep doing it in my reading planner for sure but I might do a second way also just because um, I want to see what I really like so this is a page kit that I put together in December. I picked this one because it had an owl. So reading, you know, book owl. And there's tons of scraps, which I can use to map the photos. I'm gonna go with the red and white. I got an extra cardstock because I don't know if it's gonna end up being a two page spread. So we're gonna get started. What I'll do first, oh, and I got a bunch of um, Project Life cards, maybe for, the journaling of each, like the summary of each book. Not sure yet how I'm going to do that. I just went ahead and I had stamped all the books like this. And with the numbers right up to 110 in my last video. But I needed some more 1 to 10. So I just did, I did a couple more because I know I want to do it Project Lifestyle next. So I got another set here, but I still have it up to 110, which I'll be using throughout the year. So, you know, I don't have to do too many uh, stamping. And that I use my stamp set here. I had the numbers here. I don't know what this is from. That looks like a Scraptastic um, stamp set. And then this I got, I'm not sure what, who that's from i don't know if it's an ellie studio or if it's ali edwards i don't think it's ali edwards somebody asked me where i got those that five star it was from this uh reading bookish related one but a lot of stamp sets have you know stars so you can even if you just have the one star right you could stamp it five times so now let's get started now, I, some of them, I did glue the little book on the photo. I'm just going to put it to the side just because the way I put my, my books down, I put them down in the order in my book, in the order that I read them. So what I do is I just go on Goodreads, you know, and I every time I read start reading a book, I just put it on there as, you know, started to read. And then when I finish it, Pretty much as soon as I finish reading the book, I go right on Goodreads and I mark it as read. And then when I'm ready to do my album, I just bring it up on my phone, take a screenshot, and then I put it up in my PicFrame app. And in this case, I put four to a picture. So four pictures in one. And it... Um, I only had to print three of them because I read three books. And then, you know, it was actually 12 pictures. So what I did was I just printed some other pictures that I wanted to print. And I'll use them on another layout. So this month, I'm going to print this three times, right? Because <laughs> I'm going to do it three different ways. But that's okay. It's just fun to try different stuff. Different ways to do stuff. I think I might just... I might make it so it's all the same and mat them all with the red cardstock because it's on white background. So and again, I don't know if I'm going to do the two page spread or the one page spread. Like the, like the first four, I think I glued it on the picture and then I was like, oh, you need to mat the photos. So maybe stop doing that. 
and just put the number on top of the photo. And then that way I'll still remember the order of the books that I read. I could have went downstairs and grabbed my reading planner and because I've already done this, but I did not feel like going downstairs. <laughs> so I just separated all the photos and I put the number right on it. So we have been up for a few hours. Mason has a tournament this weekend. So we went to his game this morning. They won, they did so good. It was a good game. They have only one game a day, so. And of course, it's a storm outside. We're having freezing rain, so the roads weren't that great. <laughs> but everybody just left like super early and then it's safer that way, right? Uh, this is number six. I guess I don't need to. Oh, that'd be awesome if it, yes, it does. I was going to say that'd be awesome if it's right in there because that's one less that I have to, to cut. I could use my trimmer, but, oh, yeah, it's just a thin border, but there's a border and the photo's red anyway, so. So as soon as we got home, I thought, you know what? I'm going to come and do this right away because if I sit, I'm going to be done. I'm going to be done. I won't feel like doing anything. <laughs> but, oh, and I just wanted to let you know, I had talked about putting my classes on sale last weekend. And life being life and everything was crazy. Totally forgot like slipped my mind thought about it on sunday so they're going to go on sale this weekend probably when this goes up they'll be already on sale so i have like 15 classes i have uh four of them that are scrapathons, which is um i've had a lot of people ask me you know if i didn't join when the scrapathon was on. Can I still take it? Yes, it's it's also a self-paced class. So, you know, you get um, a prompt or a challenge every day. So it's great to get pages ready too for... Where's number nine? Not oh, right here. For a crop. And that's going to stay on sale till Monday. And then the Scrapathon should be on sale between the 20th and the 29th, some, sometime in there. I'll Scrapathon number five will become available. Uh, oh, oh well, I'll put it on that side. I tried to make it so it's different spots than the number on the photo but there was no there's no room on the other side because of the title so yes I started off the year really good for reading I got 10 books done somebody was asking me like you must be a fast reader um 10 books in a month I think I'm a pretty fast reader but I just made reading a priority. So what I mean by that is at night, instead of watching, you know, two, three episodes of TV, I watch one and then I go read for an hour or two before I go to bed. A lot of times when I wake up in the morning, that's the first thing I do before I get up. Let's say if I get up at six and I can't sleep, I read. I read for like an hour before I get up. So I just make sure that every time when I go to hockey and we have to wait for the game to, you know, the practice to start or whatever, I always have my phone and I read. <laughs> so every opportunity. So I always have a book on Kindle. Last year, I got really bad of, about having a book on Kindle. I would bring like a physical book, but then I would forget it. So now I'm like, no, you got to have 
a book on Kindle the whole time. So what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to figure out, I have 10 books, so do I want to put five on each page? I think if I try to put all 10 books on here, it's going to be chaotic. You know, some months I might just have... I'm okay with not too much, like, decorating, like, you know. But I want to have a little spot where I can put the star rating. I thought maybe if it was more uniform, but I don't know. Um, it's just the last four here. Our enemies won't have... They're not even in the order right now. I'm just trying to see how I could. Yeah, this these ones here, that would have journaling, that, but that would have none. So how about, but that's a lot of journaling. So it's to find the, the sweet spot. I can put some so that they're really close to the end. And then here, instead of putting it to the end, I'll do the journaling on this side. And then the journaling for that book on this side. Maybe here I can um, I read too many books. <laughs> I'm trying to see. That looks good. If I come here, leave room here, then here again. I'd like to be able to fit it all on one page. And I don't, like I said, I don't need to use those. I just took them out in case. But where this is white, I can journal just right on there. Okay, so let's try something like this. Oh, there's still a book. Okay. Maybe something like this. Ugh. It doesn't leave much room for... It's going to have to be really, really small. The embellishing... That's okay. I have quite a bit of labels in this, and I did take out some, um, a few washi tapes. I find these are wide, but I like to cut them in half, so I'll probably do that. No. Uh, okay. So I think I'm going to do two pages because I like to be able to have some kind of decorating okay so we'll go like this okay so seven eight nine ten maybe six okay so now i'm just gonna have five per and then maybe i can just do a little bit more like you know, like that owl. I want to use that owl for sure. And then on this side, maybe I can go the opposite way. So it kind of goes like this. Seven, eight, nine, and then ten. I can still move this around. But I think I'm going to do my lines right on here and do my journaling right there. But I can put like January reads somewhere this way. Like it gives me, I can put the journaling on this side and put January reads here. I'll probably try to get some bigger alpha to go there to take up more room. 
So if I do the journaling on this side, then I can do this, do the journaling here, and do a little bit of, I can probably do it here. Still have room for journaling. And like that. I love those viewfinders. I've had so many people ask me, when are they going to be available? They're going to be available soon. We just have had so much going on, but we are working on them. I'm having issues with my software and stuff. So we're trying, we're diligently trying to figure that out for sure. Get it going, get it working. Ooh, I love this. I think maybe I can put that little heart there. So that's still in view. I think so. Okay. Like maybe something to, to ground that little owl here, a little cluster. Like maybe with a little flower here. See, now I can put my love, love, love. So I can decorate a little bit more. Yeah, I think I'm going to like the two page. And it's still not going to take too much room in an album. Like if I, even if I do two pages per month, which I really don't see that I'm going to get much more than 10 books read a month. Like that was, that was kind of epic. Unless, you know, one month I'm like, I am not doing anything else when I get up in the morning except read, <laughs> which someday I think I'd love to do like um, a readathon and kind of base my week, like make sure like, you know, that I don't have a class going on that month or anything like that and have all my, my videos ready for YouTube and all that stuff. And then just do um, a readathon. I would love that. This says, our story in magic. And you know what? That's what reading is all about. It's magic, for sure. So yeah, I'm really liking the... So I like this. I'm going to put the epic with the heart. What does this say? Nothing. Okay, so I can use it. So I had tons of just leftover labels, which is awesome. I'm going to try and put some pretty much everywhere. I don't have, I don't want to put one of those viewfinders at every single one of them anyway, so that's okay. Maybe I can put that long one here. Do that. There's another label. And I still want to add some pattern papers and I still have these that I want to use. I just want to make sure that I use as much of the embellishments as I possibly can. All I have is this left. Now I'm going to pick some pattern papers and I'm going to start I'm going to start gluing stuff down. This is coming together nicely. And then I'll have to get my T-square ruler. I don't even know if I'm going to make lines. I don't know. I might live on the edge and just um, journal straight on. I don't know. We'll see. We will see, uh-oh, see that's why, what did I do with that? Didn't that have a viewfinder? This is why I don't like moving stuff. I always lose stuff. Where'd it go? Oh, right here. <laughs> always never fails i lose stuff okay so i'm going to glue this down before i lose it again there it goes again okay so i'm going to glue this down i'm going to glue this at one point i'm going to pause the video and i'm going to go get 
some alphas because I want to I want to put some black in here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate these two pages. I'm going to put this down. I'm going to go get my ruler, my big ruler. And my craft knife. And I'm going to make some smaller I do like this small about about half of it would be good I think there you go it doesn't have to be straight and then now what I can do it can stay right there and I can just take off the amount that I want I just want to add some darker color I did get a red one too that was from my last haul might as well do that one right away and I'm gonna do this again just right in half oops got it I have a pink one, but I don't know if I'll use the pink one. Okay, so let's find some paper for that one. So while I'm gluing this down, I want to start talking about the books. I found that by the time I started talking about the books in my last one, it was like, whew, I almost had to race. It was like, because all I had left was three minutes. I don't know. I think some of them I want to do some bigger patterns maybe that'd be kind of cool just so it adds a little bit more color so make sure I think I have the room it's just to make it so that it looks okay I think this one I'll bring it up a little bit and this one too maybe like that And, oh yeah, I want to make sure I have January there. So I think, like this maybe, maybe this. And I'll put the writing on that side and this one, the writing on that side. Okay. So the first book I read this month is Regretting You by Colleen Hoover, and that's an adult contemporary. And it's about a family, you know, a husband and the wife, they've been married since basically right after high school. And she got pregnant while she was in high school and, you know, they got married. They seem to have like the perfect life, happy, and then something tragic happens and then all these secrets start to come out and it's them you know navigating their life after that tra 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 <laughs> tragedy and then her you know saying oh did i really did i really know our relationship like was I blind, you know, all these years? And and it's it was super sweet. There was like two timelines. Um, well, it starts with the older timeline and then it goes to the real timeline. But in the real timeline, there's two stories going on. That's what it is. And it was really good. It was hard hitting. Um, I don't read the synopsis before I go into books and I was like completely floored about what this was about because I had no idea and but I really really enjoyed the story for my first book of the year it was like oh I'm starting the the year off strong actually all the books I read this month I absolutely loved and um 
So that was number one. The second book I read was uh, The Bromance Book Club, and that's by Lissa K. Adams. And that is about a softball pro player. But I have to say, if you're not into, you know, like sports book um, or sports romance or stuff like that, you don't have to worry. This basically just says that he is like not once was there like a game or anything like that. It was all, you know, nothing to do. They just talked about that he was and you know his teammates and stuff but there wasn't I don't remember you know maybe they said they were going to a game but it never talked about the game or whatever and um so his marriage is on the rocks and she says you know that she wants to leave him or he you know basically was told to leave and then uh his Teammates find him and they tell him that he needs to go into this book club to kind of bring spark, the spark back in his marriage. It was so cute. I really enjoyed it. I gave it four stars. Colleen Hoover, I gave it five stars, but there's hardly any time that I don't give a Colleen Hoover book a five stars. <laughs> Most of the time I gave them... I give them five stars, so. Okay, I didn't have a lot of embellishments for a two-page spread there. So I'm, I might have to, you know, go digging for some, some embellishments because I have pretty much everything already down on the page. And this doesn't have a lot of embellishments. I don't know which side I'm going to put the five stars. Maybe next to the... Next to, like maybe here. I don't like that. Okay. Let me see. I still have my books out, so I can still... You know, because this is such... There's a lot of embellishment clusters here, so... I'm going to need, I'm going to need some extra stuff here. This says, think happy, be happy. And that's what they were telling him. Not to think happy, be happy, but like to think that they could work on their marriage and stuff. Uh, let me see if there's anything else I can put it. I could have put get it done. Uh, not too many things that I want to put on there. Oh, well, maybe some of those. The colors aren't right though. Maybe this, it's almost like a red. It's like an off red. That. Put a couple of those on there. So yes, this was a four stars. I really, I really did enjoy this. The next book I read was The Bookish Life of Nina Hill by Abby Waxman. If you want to get me sold on a book, just tell me it's a book about either a bookstore or a book about books. And I am sold. One of my favorite books. Um, was oh what's it called i see i see it and it was about um in a bookstore i can't remember the name right now i've been up for hours <laughs> but if it's books about books i love this one i'm just gonna leave with just i'm not gonna put a pattern paper underneath each just to switch it up a bit that already has that let me see. This is a pattern paper from the other day. I'm going to use that. What I love about this is I'm using a ton of um, scraps, you know. So 
The only thing that kind of makes me sad is I am not using my Project Life cards. And that's why I want to do one maybe with the Project Life cards. Just to see, like, okay, do I? But do I really want to? I don't think I want to do three different. So I'll have to choose. <laughs> have to choose which ones I'm going to. I'm going to kind of keep. Okay. So I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to go get the alphas for here. Okay, so I'm going to go with these. They're pebbles. There's an E missing, but I'm going to use a three. So I'll use those and I'll put it on wax paper. That way I can move it around and figure out where I'm going to put it on the page but I want to make sure that I have room for this and so Jane ooh, I'm trying to make it I'm using a lot of my little letters but I want to make sure that I use I have a ton of alphas like thickers and I really need to Where's the U? Need to make sure that I use them. I love my tiny letters, but. And A. And that's going to be on a different page, so I'm okay that. And because I'm making this so it's an E, I wanted to make sure that I use the bigger ones so you might hear the plow going by because like I said we're having we're having some weather but we can't complain this year there was like one week that it just snowed like all the time but it's been pretty good I think I'm gonna put that there and maybe this I can put somewhere else don't know where though but I'd like to use everything okay so that's down let me just put this down and figure out oops put that U away or that N I guess because I know I'm going to need it someday so yes, this is about Nina and her life. And she works at a bookstore and she is very, like, it's got to be this way. She plans out her life. You know, at this time to this time, I do this. And so her life is pretty much planned. And then, you know, she goes to the gym at this time. And, and then all of a sudden, she didn't know who her dad was. And all of a sudden, she has this new family, which they're kind of, they're funny. I love them. And so she's kind of getting used to like having a new family. And then she has, she's part of this group where, you know, they compete for like trivia and stuff. And um, so she's had kind of a crush on this guy from this other team but it's like the rival team so they start kind of a little romance and you know then she's learning about her dad which she finds out about him like once he's passed away and that's how the family discover finds out about her kind of thing and um it was so good i really enjoyed that book I know some people said they were like, oh, it was okay, but I I really enjoyed it. Um, I gave it four stars. Again, a book about books. Love that. Okay, so I got to make sure that I use a little bit of pattern paper. I should have maybe, like everything is red. That's why I got the letters in black. But maybe I could have used some black pattern papers just to add. 
Now look at that. This says reading. So I'm going to use this one. I'm going to put a little black on this side. I should I should have put some black on the other side, but it's all good. If I feel like I must, I can just take one off and restick it. Now, someone asked, um, you know, I use the same ATG as you do. How come? You know, when you want to lift it up, you can. Usually when I first put it down, I don't like, I just put it down gently. And then that way, if I want to remove it, I can. So that helps with that. And if you have one of those tools too from um, Creative Memories, that helps too. You can, not that I use it very much, but a lot of people say that they love it. Uh, okay, so maybe the journaling on that side for that one, this side for that one, and this side for that one. So we can do this maybe. I don't know. Maybe I can do the journaling here for that one. And then I can put this there. And then... Yeah, and then I'll put the number 10 on this side and I'll put the journaling on this side just because I have reads there. So I think that's how I'm going to do that and I'll put the journaling here for that one. Okay. Uh, maybe bring it up a little bit. Bring this down a little bit. Bring this over. Okay, let's do it like that. Let's find that black piece of pattern paper was just kind of sitting right there. I tell ya, I, uh, I got some cleaning up to do. <laughs> it is a mess in my room, but it's all good, I think. One of them, I'm going to try and do maybe some photo corners just for that one. Like that. Maybe it's got some red there just for something different. And then what else was I thinking? I should have another one with pattern paper. This one maybe? Sure. I'm going to cut it really tight so you can't tell too, too much that it's chevron. And that's okay. And I'll probably go through my sticker books to find a little bit more stickers. to add to my embellishment clusters. Okay, so I talked about the first three books. Um, oh, I know what I could do. That'd be cool. How about, how about if I did one with one of the washi tapes? Maybe I should get some white cardstock white cardstock and glue it on that a piece of scrap here i'll just put a few layers and then i'll mat the photo i could do it right on the but then i'd have to really be precise on the cutting and I'm like, mm, I kind of don't want to do that. <laughs> now, I don't know if I want to do, okay, if I want to do this way or this way. I think I want to do this way. 
So I'll make it like this. Oh, that's fine. Oh, let me put it up. There's a little gap there. So there is more room up here. So I'll do this. And then I'll cut. Oopsies. Stamp set on the floor. There you go. Oops. A little crooked. That and then here I just gotta cut off the there. That's gonna add some black on this side. Perfect. So the next book I read is Traitor to the Throne by Alwyn Hamilton. And this is a young adult fantasy. It's in the desert. It's about uh Amani and Jin, and Amani's like uh She's really good with uh, guns and stuff, and they got to save their kingdom. This is the second book in the series. Absolutely loved it. Enjoyed the story quite a bit. Quite a bit. Let me see. So that's book number two, or number four that I read. I gave that, is it four or five stars? I can't remember. It was four or five stars. Really liked it. I think it was 4.5 actually, maybe. Really, in, I'm really enjoying that series. It's action pack, lots of action. Okay. Love the two main characters. Love pretty much all the characters actually. And, um, Put that there and that there. So what I try to do is, you know, if I start a series, I try to read the next book the next month and all that stuff. But where I'm trying to read 24 series this month, I have to start at least three series a month or two or three series a month in order to, to get it done. And... Um, so there's no way, like after a while, I wouldn't be able to, I'd have, I have too many series on the go. So what I'm trying to do right now is, I think I have 11 of them on the go, 11 or 12. So I'm trying to get those older ones done and then go on to the newer ones that I just started. I, let's say the end of December or something like that. So for example, in February, I'm not reading the second book in that series because I'm like, you know what? I'm going to finish another series. Like I'll read the last book of this series instead and make sure that that series is done because I don't want to wait at the end of the year. Last year I made my goal, but it was like I finished the last series like a few days, like a week or so before the end of the year and I'm like that's too close <laughs> so I want to I want to be strong and in January I only finished one series so I finished the Percy Jackson series so I'm like okay I gotta be more on top of finishing series or keep going on series Next book I read was Ever the Hunted by Aaron Summerill this is the beginning of a young adult fantasy and this is about a girl whose uh, father was murdered. And um, so the tradition, I guess, is you're not allowed to leave your home. I think it was like three months or two months or something like that. But because of her mother and who she was and stuff, um, nobody is bringing her food like normally people would bring them food and all that stuff so she was after a month like she was starving like she had run out of food nobody brought her food so she was a good hunter so she went hunting and caught herself a nice buck or whatever and on her way home the king's guards caught her and the punishment 
to hunt on the king's land is sentenced to death. Now, the king's advisor makes a deal with her because she's a good tracker. And he says, I want you to track Cohen and bring him to justice because he was saying that he's the one that had killed her dad. And she was like, that threw her because Cohen is her childhood friend and sweetheart. You know, like she loved him, but she agreed. It was either that or she was, you know, going to get killed. So she does. So that's the story. That's how it begins. And I, I loved it. I gave it four stars. I'm reading the second book in February. So that's another one. Like I'm keeping the, it was supposed to be a duology, but the, the last book in the trilogy came out this month or in January, in January. And I already bought it. So I know as soon as I can, I'm going to finish the series. So I don't know if I put it on for next month or the month after, but it's not going to take me long. I'm going to, I'm going to get it done. I think I put it on for next month. This month, I ended up reading a ton of adult contemporary. I'm totally in the mood for them. I'm enjoying them so much. Uh, the next book I read is The Girl in 6E, and that is a an erotic thriller. And um, this is about a girl that hasn't left her apartment in three and a half years because she has these urges to commit murder. So what she's done, she, you know, kind of does kind of the the job, a job that she can do from home. So she's a, um, a sex person, I guess, and uh, online. That's what she does for a living. And she makes tons of money. Like she, she's doing okay. And it's just about her, you know, and talks about like she, her story, you find out what happened to her when she was younger and all this stuff. And then at one point, she feels like she has no other choice but to leave her apartment. It's really good. I gave it four stars. Enjoyed the book. There's uh, it's a trilogy and I have the second book. I don't have the third book. But as soon as I read the second book, I'm, I, I have it on my Amazon wish list and I'm kind of waiting for it to, you know, go on sale or whatever. But if it doesn't go before I'm due to read it, I'll just bite the bullet and just get it because <laughs> I want to finish series. I don't like to leave too much time in between because I like to know, I like to remember the story, like the full story, not like what's going on again. Like I don't like that. So I don't usually let too many months go between books before I read them. So that was that book, gave it four stars. Now the next book I read is Our Stop by Laura Jane Williams. This is an adult contemporary and it's about two characters that you see them over and over again, like almost meet, like they're very much so like in the same areas and they just don't meet. He sees her on the commute train and he wants to know her. So he sends, they have like this newspaper where they call it like, you know, meet on da da da. So she reads and she's like, is this person talking about me? But even at that, like they still don't meet, don't meet. And it's about their lo love story. I really liked it. Another four stars. Like it was really good. I enjoyed it. And that was just like, I was on Amazon and the book was on for like $1.99 or $2.99. I'm like, oh, and then I just kind of, oh, I was at a, a hockey practice and I had time to, to wait. So I'm like, oh, I'm going to start that book that I just bought. <laughs> Although I have like hundreds that I probably should read on my Kindle, but 
I don't know, that one just caught my eye, so I read it right away, and I really liked it. I read it in like two days or three days. I gave it four stars. Super cute. Like I said, I'm in the contemporary mood. The next book I read is Arch Enemies, which is the second book in the Renegade series. This is by Marissa Meyer. This is hero versus villain, and sometimes the line gets a little blurred rather you know, whether it's their heroes or, and um, no, Nova infiltrates the heroes because she wants to take them down from the inside in. And for her too, like she, you know, says she's a villain, but now she's getting to know the renegades and she's having feelings, she thinks for one of them, but then she keeps thinking about what happened to her family. And so this was like the, the continuation of the first book and I really enjoyed it. I gave it four, four and a half stars. There is one more book to the series and I'm going to finish that off in February. I'm hoping it's on my list, but I do have 14 books on my list for February. So there's no way I'm going to be able to read all that. At this point, it's February 7th. I finished two books, but I'm in the middle of five other books. And most of them, I'm like 20, 20 to 40%. So I'm coming along. So all of a sudden, I'll be like, boom, boom, boom. Finish a whole bunch at once. I'm looking for my tape, my home tape. And I can't find it, but I have some of these. So I'll just use these. I'm trying to use all the stuff that I have. I'm not buying any anything. I was so close to buy some stuff the other day. Oh, the new Pink Fresh Studio. Oh, I want it so bad. I put it in the cart. I even went as far as like check out and then I was like, no, get out of there. <laughs> so I didn't check out, but ooh, I wanted to. I'm trying to use what I have. There. And it was all embellishments. Like I wasn't buying... I wasn't going to buy any papers or anything like that. It was all embellishments because that's what I find that I use so much of it. Like, yes, paper, but you use one or two papers and, and that's a layout. But embellishments, like you need a lot of embellishments. I think I'm just going to put that there. There's that dot. I didn't know where it was. Yay. Okay, so the next book I read was The Girl He Used to Know, and that's by Tracy Jarvis Graves. She is quickly becoming one of my favorite author. I read On the Island from her last year. Absolutely loved it. And then there was like a novella, which I loved. Now I read this. This is also an adult contemporary, but it's a hard-hitting adult contemporary like, it took me by surprise. Again, I didn't read anything about it, so I didn't know what it was about. And, oh, it was so good. It's about a girl who, um, how can I explain that? I'm going to put Hello Sunshine here because they're in the desert. It's always sunny. I, I don't want to say too much because I don't want it to be spoilery. I figured it out right away but she has a situation in her life that doesn't make her life any easier for her and she meets somebody like socially and um she um you know falls in love with him he falls in love with her and then they end up breaking up and then 10 years later they meet again and she's trying to convince him like i have a better way of you know, dealing with stuff and it's their story. But again, there is so much more to that story. It's oof, very hard hitting. Loved it. Gave it five stars. That was another five star book. 
And then The Last Olympian, that is by Rick Riordan. Um, the last series in the book, so I finished a series this month. And this is Percy Jackson and all his crew and all their adventures. And I loved that series. I'm kind of sad that it's over. And, you know, um, Annabeth calling him a seaweed brain. And <laughs> I just, I just love their story so much. But he has other books out there. And I think they kind of do cameos in them. So I'm going to start the next series this year, I think. It's one of the book series that I think I want to read. Okay, so now I'm going to take that little five-star stamp. And I'm going to figure out where I'm going to put the five-star ratings for each of the book. And then I'm going to color it in uh, maybe here because I'm going to do the journaling there and here because I'm going to do the journaling there it doesn't really matter though I'm going to put it with the embellishment cluster and this guy I'm going to put it here here might take out some stamps and try to do a little bit of stamping too like other stamping and then the last one i'll do right here okay so that's the five star rating i'm going to put the cover right back on this because i know me and yeah messes I kind of like this feather, like maybe once I do the journaling and I really like that little bird. So maybe I can stamp that little bird a few times and cut him out. I can, I don't really need to color him because when I stamp him, whatever color I stamp him is going to be perfect. I like that arrow. I kind of like that camera. So I'm going to try to, try to use those a little bit. I'm going to go get I think I'm going to do the watercolors again. And I'm pretty sure for most of these, so, oops. I think the only thing I don't know is whether it's 4.5 or, if, you know, if it's a full five star. I don't think I had that many five stars. I know I had regretting you, but you know, what's great is like this, you know, this is a hobby of mine and I like to kind of keep sort of a memory of all the books that I read, but you can do that for anything that you, you know, whether you make, like if you make a bunch of socks or you knit or whatever, take pictures of all the knitting that you did or you know if you do diamond painting take a picture of all the diamond painting that you you did throughout the year and do some pages about you know you could even divide them by month so if you do one one thing you can still do a page about that one item that you did i think it's fun kind of puts a little bit of Emphasis on our hobbies and stuff. I'm loving these um, watercolor pencils. I got them on Amazon. They're really nice. I love the colors. I got to use them as watercolors soon. <laughs> so Ever the Hunted was a four stars. Three, four. And what we have to remember too is, you know, everything doesn't have to be like, oh, you know, pages to, to be in, you know, in a competition kind of thing. 
it's for us it's you know memories that you've had so i don't want to do another pink so i think i'm going to do a dark blue i'm trying to i did that last year too like try to scrapbook more like current stuff so more like stuff that's happening right now so i gotta Got to make sure that I do some layouts about Mason's hockey because, man, that is kind of our life right now. We put a lot of hours at the rink. A lot of hours. That's the only one I can't remember if it's a four or five, so I'll put... If it wasn't a five, it was a 4.5. I really enjoyed that. And I know Percy Jackson, I mean, I gave it four stars because, you know, it's a middle grade series. It's not like I enjoyed it a lot. I don't know. Maybe I should have been giving them five stars because I did really, like, uh, I'll probably remember these stories, like, for a long time. <laughs> They were so cute. And you know what? I love the movie too. Like we watched the movies or the first movie anyway, years and years and years ago. Absolutely loved it. I remember we were camping when we had gone to Walmart or something and we had bought the movie and we watched it while we were camping and we all loved it. It was a good movie. I should watch it again now that I've read all the series. There, that was a five stars. That, I remember it was a five stars because I, oh, I think all of her books are going to be five stars for me. And did I just finish one, another one of her books? Yes, I did. And I, I give it five stars. If it wasn't five stars, it was like 4.5. And I'm reading another one of hers right now. I went on Amazon and I just bought all the digital. They were like three to five dollars. So... I think I got all her books. I have all her books now. <laughs> so I'll just be watching. I think she has another one coming out this year. Was it her? I Maybe. Okay, so now I'm going to go look at the ones that don't have a lot of stuff. And try to add some embellishments. Because it's some of these are kind of anemic. Like that one. Ooh, not too much going on oh and there's this too that i love so i know i want to do some stamping and maybe i have my book stamps out so maybe i can do a couple of books too like just stamp little books like maybe a little bookshelf where could i do a bookshelf let's do a bookshelf Maybe right there, do a little bookshelf. Maybe right there. I don't want to do a big one. Maybe like right here, do a bookshelf. Put a few books. Those books aren't very big. So, okay, let's, where's my stamp? I'm going to put this away because I use this stamp all the time. So I really don't want to use it. Oh, there's this one that's already. No, I think I think I want to do my own. I start ordering more blocks because I don't know. In the move somehow, I um, I don't know where my blocks are I know like where two or three of them are and I had like a ton of them so I need I need some more I waited three and a half years I'm like uh okay obviously they got put somewhere sorry for the head there now I want to put this away right away I don't like to lose stamps at all. 
Okay, so what color are we going to do? Let's put this guy away. I have a bad habit of... Let's do a dark. Let's do a light. Ooh. Let's do one that color. And maybe a blue one. I don't want to do just the colors. Like, I want to do different colors. Oh. I want to do different colors. So let's start with the pink. Okay. It's not going to be perfect, but you know what? It's all good. Then I'm going to do the brown right next to it. And again, I'm going to put this away. Perfect. Even if it's not perfect, we're going to say perfect, okay? <laughs> and then I'm going to do this one. We're going to do pink or peachy. And then, ooh. Well, I was going to say, I hope that I wish there was a little plant, and there's a plant, man. Can I get it to fit? Hope so. Let's try to fit the plant. There's the other book. Okay, let's try to fit the plant. I'm going to do the dark brown again. And then I'm going to do a green. So I need to find a green. Uh, do I want? Yeah, let's do a bright, bright green. And then the brown. Uh oh. I haven't been putting these away. Nope. That's not it. This is it. I'm going to do more stamping, but I want to put this away before I make a mess. Okay. I generally don't like to stamp directly on my layout because if you mess it up, you got one chance. See, like that flower pot didn't stamp perfectly. But you know what? We're going to leave it because I'm just going to end up messing it up even more. Okay, let's put this away. Did I put the green away? I do this all the time. There it is. <laughs> I lose stuff. Okay, now, sorry for the head, but got to make sure that it's right in the pot. Oh, I love it. You know what I should have been doing? Ugh, that wasn't smart. I should have been keeping the stamps out and then I won't have to, wouldn't have to do it again. But I could have done that over here somewhere, like more than once. Where could I do it? Right here? I'm doing it. I'm doing it. That's it. Okay. Where am I going to do this? Okay, I got to I'm going to do the writing there. Oh, that's green. Whew. Wrong color. <laughs> Good thing that I saw. Okay. There we go. Maybe I should figure out somewhere else because I, I think I'd like three spots, but where? Maybe over here? Like right up against the, the side there. Okay, I find that I don't use my stamps enough, so I'm trying to definitely um, be more aware of that this year. Every every beginning of the year, I'm always like, oh, you know, like I gotta, 
I gotta do this. Oh no. I gotta do this more and I gotta do that more. It's a see-through, so it's pretty good. It's not perfect, but it's all good. Um, so I'm trying to do that a little bit more this year. It's gonna be use more stamps and there we go yeah this goes much faster ah i used the wrong ink there you go close enough okay now this one okay this is why i close the inks up because I will put it in the wrong ink. Sometimes going faster is not better. That's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. I think we get in this mindset that, you know, things need to be perfect and they really don't. It makes it more, <laughs> it makes it more so that it's homemade, right? We'll tell each other that. But guaranteed, like nobody's going to go, oh man, you miss, you know, they're not even going to see that. They're just going to see the whole thing. And it's good. Uh oh, oh, there it is. I didn't put the, the flower back. which is not good. That's how you lose stamps. But I see it. Oh. I like that. Oh, I made the, oh well. I made the shelf a different color. That's okay. I just got too excited with the, oh, let's do it more than one place. There. Okay, I like that. Okay. Now, what else could I do? I really liked those arrows that I saw. So maybe I can choose a color. Let me put that plant back <laughs> before I lose it the arrows and also some of the words you know I want to put words that are related to reading but let's put these arrows first Ooh, those stamps kind of oily so let's see what color what color hmm color should I do? I like to pick one of those colors. Uh, but I don't want it like bright, bright. It's kind of bright. Uh, maybe if I stamp off, that works really well. I'm gonna have to get my other block that I have. And see, this block is just too big for something like this. Like, I wish I had a block like in between, but. Okay. So what I mean by stamp off is I'm gonna stamp there first. And then the second generation stamping, I'm gonna stamp there so it's not as bold. So I'm gonna do one there. Again, stamp there. And stamp here, stamp there, and maybe up here. So three times, because I want it there, but I don't want it to be like overly like in your face. More like, oh yeah, there's little arrows, cute. Now, what else did I say I wanted to do? Words. 
let's put a few words that has to do with reading. Here, it says just love. So I can use that for sure. And I'll just put it a few places on the layout. And then I literally have like stamp sets that are just like, here's what I read today, reading between the lines, reading, story, I could do that, favorite. So I could do a few of those, not too much, but a few. I wanna do the Just Love. I think I wanna do it in black. The words I want to do them in black, I think. You don't want to overdo it either. But I'm going to try and hmm. That's the thing about stamping right on the page. You're like, ah. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to wait on this one. Just because it's not a, a flat word, and I think I'd rather do like words that are just like this. I'd rather be reading. That's cute. I'm going to stamp that, and it's little. It's sick. I can't fit it on this. Eey. Okay, so I'm going to take those off. Where do these, these go? I'm going to put them right back. So I'd rather be reading. Okay. I'm going to put it right under there. Awesome. Yeah, I like that. And then this one's going to I was going to say it might go off the page, but it's okay. Yep, yeah, a little bit off the page, but perfect. So I'm going to leave those like that. And then I'm going to find something else. Where's that stamp set? Uh, maybe story? See, that's kind of dark. Hmm. Maybe I can do the stamp off again. You know what? I'm going to put that with that. So then it's saying like the stories that way. I'm going to stamp off just because I don't want it to be more like a gray than. There we go. I'm trying to keep the stamping so it doesn't look like I sneezed stamping on the layout. I don't think I'm going to put too, too much more because I'm going to do some journaling. So for now. We'll probably call it good because we still have to put some embellishments. So let me put these away because I don't want to lose them. I get asked a lot, like, where did I get a lot of these stamps? And it's like, I really don't remember. I've had them for years, but you know, when I, whenever I saw one that had to do about reading, I would just buy them. And I'm sure if I saw another stamp set today that was about reading. I'd probably get it too. <laughs> Just because I love having a ton of stamp sets about, about reading and stuff. And I use them, so why not? Okay, so let's put this away. Let's put this ink away before I make a mess. Let's put these inks away. Okay, so we can put the blocks away and all the stamp sets. Okay, just like to 
clean up a little bit here. All right. Let's see if we can add just a little bit more embellishments and then I'll be good. I'll be like, okay, I'm good. I'm just looking for my sticker books. I don't like that there, so let's move that. I pretty much used all the embellishments that I had, but there's a couple I'm like, yeah, it doesn't really go. So we're gonna we're gonna move on. I'm gonna look in here. If um, Copper DM does more of these sticker books, I'm gonna get them because man, if I ever been using these a lot. Okay. I need something else there. Like either something bigger but round maybe. Just to build my embellishment foundation. Or maybe even this. If I cut this like that. And then I put that here, make myself a little box. And then I can put this there. And then I'm gonna put that here. Just kind of add a little bit more here. I found it was a little lacking. It was mostly this one that didn't have a lot in this one and that one, I guess. Let's find some. Some stuff like this because she liked to be alone. So she had to tell herself like, OK, you need to be kind because her family, her new family was like, you know, Certain people were like all in her face kind of thing, you know, like, we want to get to know you. And she was like, oh, <laughs> just because of her personality, that's not who she was. But it was it was good for her. Let's try to find something for here. And then... Mm, kind of don't like it. I like those, but they have blue in them. So I'm like, eh, what about this one? I can put that one and then put something else too. Like maybe some words. There. That's cute. Okay, so I'm feeling good with the amount of stuff. Like, oh, maybe something else here. Everything doesn't have to be like, oh, so much stuff, right? I put here. Because she finds a lot of stuff like it's important to her. So... Now just the enamel dots and I'm going to get to use all of these. I don't know. <laughs> Usually I don't get to use the big ones, but this time I am going to use the big ones. There we go. Now we'll put the little ones just kind of haphazardly, just a little bit here and there. Just almost every single one gets one not quite but that's okay i'm wondering if i shouldn't put uh, that's the wrong way i just want some little birds i was going to stamp some but i'm like oh i think i've i've 
done enough stamping for today. <laughs> I mean, I like it. I'm really happy I did it, but I think I'm like, I'm good. I am good, but I want little birds. Almost like a little birdie told me that this book was good and I read it and man, did I ever love it. I gotta put something else here. Um, should I put a bird or should I put, maybe something else, be an arrow, arrows are good. Okay, maybe I'll put the dot there instead because I don't have a lot of stuff there. Okay, so we'll put the arrow here with the little dot and then here we'll put that little bird. Just like that. Little bird here. And you know, one thing about um, getting my scrap room organized, it's making me think of stuff like, you know what, like those wood veneers, it kind of brought them back to the forefront of my mind. Like you got to use those. So, which is good. Now I got how many birds here? Might be one over here. Just a tiny one. Maybe looking out here. Oh, that one's got a broken leg. Poor birdie. Where can I put him? Maybe right there. Hi. You know what my favorite part is? Is those little shelves with the books. And you know what? I There was a Pink Fresh Studio um, collection that they did that as some of their stickers and I loved it. And why have I not been doing that with that stamp set? I'm not too sure that wasn't a Pink Fresh studio, studio stamp set that came with the collection maybe. And you know, like you need to utilize that because I think that's so cute. That turned out so cute. Now I find it's kind of like still white paper, right? So I'm going to go get, what color? Red, black, oh, here's black. Not red, pink, because I find red, it looks like blood. So pink, black, maybe gray, maybe yellow, maybe I'm just looking at some of the colors and I know usually I cover all the pictures but that's a lot of pictures to cover unless I just bring a couple out and then just do one side at a time that's a lot of pictures to cover now, I, what I did this time too, and it's covering so much, uh, I did print my pictures a little smaller like I did for um, my reading planner so that I it wouldn't fill, you know, the pages too, too much. You know what? I'm not going to worry about it. It's all good. If a little bit goes on the picture, it'll just add to it. There we go. Let's just do this. Let's live on the wild side. You know what? I don't think I'm going to do black because I find black is too bold. But I like gray. And it's still like looking blackish, right? So it's all good. So just. And that's just going to add enough color. that the white doesn't look so white anymore. I don't know if I want to do yellow. I like the gray. How about, hmm, I was gonna say, how about blue? 
but I think even blue is gonna be too much. How about a different shade of pink? Like a deeper pink, maybe. Because we got a light pink, like we got the Distressed Spray Stand Sponge Sugar, and then this is Primrose for he from Heidi Swap. So it kind of has a sheen to it. I'm gonna have to shake it because I don't think I've used this in a while. So let's see if that makes enough of a difference. Oh yeah, that's enough of a difference that it looks like a different color. Oh, right on the picture, it's all good. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna add another palette of color with this. I kind of like this. And now my papers don't look just white. Maybe I should have done a bigger matting on this side, but I'm good, I'm okay. Okay, so now I still have to do the writing, but I'm gonna do that off camera because I did talk about all the books and I'd be in the view the whole time. So what I'm gonna do is as soon as this dries up, I'm gonna do the journaling right away though. I'm not going to, you know, put it aside and wait. I'm gonna literally sit down here, grab my pen. I might grab this, make some lines and do my journaling right away. Even before I go prep this video to put it on YouTube, I'm gonna make sure that this is um, all journaled. And it doesn't take too, too long to dry. Like it's pretty much all dry. I can probably start journaling down here because I think it's dry. So that's it, guys. That's gonna complete this layout. Now I'm gonna do one more where I'm gonna do it with um, Project Life style. I'm not gonna do that every month. I'm just doing it the first month just to give you some options of how you can document some hobbies that you have or even the books that you're reading, just to give you some different options. So I wanna thank you so much for watching. Bye. Okay, I just thought I'd show you a quick look that I did do all the journaling. It's all there. So I just want to show you, you know, that washi tape that I had cut in half as I was putting my pages away I was like hey just put them at the top of your layout so I did red on one side black on the other at the top and I did the opposite on the bottom and they don't go all the way at the end and I'm okay with that so this time I'm really done <laughs> thanks for watching bye